My name's Danny and this is Annie and this is our daughter and we are from a project called We Be Kids. And We Be Kids is a charity where we provide online nature-based resources that will boost children and family well-being. So today we're going to show you how to make waxed leaves on the campfire so you can make a beautiful autumn garland. So these are the materials that we're going to use to make our autumn garland from wax dipped leaves. Obviously you're going to have collected yourself a wide array of beautiful coloured leaves of which there are plenty around at the moment. You're going to need some natural twine, scissors, some paper in which to lay out your leaves as they dry and you're going to need to make sure you have some 100% beeswax wax and a lovely place to heat them over. So once your pan is nice and full of your warm wax, take your leaves and when you were collecting, it's good if you have a, a longer stem, but it's not vital, but it can be useful so that when you dip in, you can lay your leaf into the wax without needing to catch your fingers. Once your leaves are ready, you'll notice that all the colours are coming through on your leaves. There may be a slight yellow coating, which is just natural from the beeswax, but it means that once they are hardened, you are ready to move on to the next stage. So, you're gonna next of all, take your twine. Do you hold that? And you're gonna take a nice, long length. Go take round like this nice long length of your twine. How long may depend obviously on how many leaves you have turned and covered in wax. Once you've got the length you think you're going to need, snip yourself the end. We're just going to use a simple overhand knot in order to tie on our leaves. So very simply you'll create your loop you can place your leaf inside and then use the tail, slot it through, and gently pull at the top of your leaf to give you the start of your garland. It's a continuing process as you work your way along. You might want to think about how much space you leave in between each leaf if you want them to look regularly spaced. Keep doing this until you get to the very end of your twine. And before you know it, you're going to have the starts of a beautiful autumn garland. And here we have our beautiful wax dipped autumn garland. Hope you had as much fun doing it as we did and we hope to see you again sometime soon. Take care. Mm -hmm.